What's up y'all and welcome back to the channel and on today's video we're going to go over how to do a feed call or feed chuckle as some people call it and we're getting started right now. to do a feed call or feed chuckle as some people call it. But before we get into today's video, if you're new to the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button and tapping the notification bell. I've got a lot of more videos coming up this off season as well as the duck hunting videos coming up this season. We're going to be on the road a lot again this year and be a lot of good content coming your way. So be sure and hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. Now, before we get into this video, if you don't already have a duck call, which you should if you're watching this, but if you need or want a good beginner duck call, I highly recommend the Echo Polycarbonate Double Reed Timber Duck Call. This call sounds awesome. Okay, You cannot beat the sound and tone that you can achieve from this $25 call. Okay, I recommend this call to anybody who is starting out trying to learn how to blow a duck call. It is super easy and it's very, very forgiving. So it's a great call to learn on. I actually just did a video a few weeks ago on how to blow a duck call, which teaches you about how to hold the call correctly, how to present the air to the call, and how to build a cadence. If you haven't seen that video, I'll drop a card right here. Be sure and check that video out. Now, Let's get into today's video. All right, so to do a feed call correctly, here's what you've got to do. You've got to pick a word to say, whether it be ticka, 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 or digga, 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 digga. One of the two, okay? I use both. It just, you know, just depends on just whatever I do at the kind. It just kind of naturally comes out, but in my mind, I'm saying one of those two words. I mean, they sound very, very similar, but what you want is you want a word that has a very sharp beginning and ending. Digga, 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 digga. Ticka, 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 ticka. Okay? Ticka, 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 ticka is mainly what I'm saying in my head because it has a very sharp ending and then the, the C on the end cuts it off. Ticka, 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 ticka. Okay? Matter of fact, when you're doing that, you can place the hand, your hand in front of your face and go ticka, 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 ticka. And you can feel the pressure from the air just by saying that word okay so it, it it disciplines you to use pressure when presenting the air to the call if you turn it around backwards this is what you'll hear okay what you don't want to do and i don't really don't understand the fascination with this, but the first thing people want to do when it comes to a feed call is they want to pick up their duck call and they want to go. <laughs> All right, look, ducks don't do that, okay? You are one person blowing one duck call. So in, to make that sound, you sound like hundreds, if not thousands of ducks, okay? One mallard hen, all she's gonna do is she's gonna go about all she's gonna do it may be sped up a little bit I have heard them working around the spread I heard I have heard them do it a little bit faster but it's typically typically gonna be one of these two sounds you hear those two sounds the first one is just a slow and steady ticka 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 and the second sound is a ticka 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 tick ticka 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 tick tick ticka 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 tick 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 ticka 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 tick tick 
What that is, is she's adding a little bit of a quack into that chuckle as she's doing it. And it will sound like this. That's what it will sound like. And you can do both. But in my opinion, the feed chuckle is really, and this is strictly my opinion, is really irrelevant when it comes to calling ducks, okay? Just because you make that feed chuckle or feed call doesn't mean they're going to say, oh, those ducks are down there feeding. There's food down there. Let's go. That, that's not really what they're doing. A hen is making that sound when she's browsing around with other ducks, and they're just kind of like, kind of like women in a room together. Think about that. When you, you get a bunch of women together in a room, what do you hear? You hear a lot of chatter, okay? That's basically what, she, what she's doing. She's just, she's just making a bunch of noise, chatting back and forth with the surrounding ducks, okay, as she's browsing around. And that's why you'll hear that little bit of half or, or stutter quack thrown into the mix. She'll be going... You'll hear that little half stutter quack in there. And it's just a drawn out tick a tick a tick a tick, tick a tick a tick a tick, tick a tick a tick a tick, tick a tick a tick a tick. Instead of cutting off that end of the tick, you just kind of tick, you just kind of drag that eye out. Tick a tick a tick a tick, tick a tick a tick a tick, tick a tick a tick a tick. And you can add as many of those half quacks in there as you want to, you know, but just match what you're hearing with the ducks. If you, you spend enough, enough time on the water and in the woods, you'll hear that and then you'll know exactly what it sounds like and you can mimic that sound back at them. If a hen does that to me as she's working, I'm gonna briefly do it right back at her, okay? If she's working the spread and I hit her with a <laughs> and she hits me back with a little then my next call is going to be a little I'm going to hit her back with a little tick, 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 tick. Okay? That's basically all you're going to want to do with it. Just remember, don't hop in the blind and you see some ducks working or fly by, don't pick up your call and go Okay? That is 100% unrealistic and they know it. Just don't do it, okay? I know it sounds cool, and you may want to learn to do it and sound cool for your buddies, and if that's the case, then you, all you want to do, you want to continue to say ticker, 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 or digger, 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 digger. Just say it real fast. Ticker, 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 digger, 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 digger. One of the two, all right? Just make sure you cut that air off with your tongue. Even when you're doing it slow like she does, you've got to cut that air off real quick with your tongue. You're using your tongue as a valve. Hit the back of your teeth, and cut that air off. Ticker, 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 ticker. Ticker, 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 ticker. All right, and you can use your hand as your toner, just like you do with your quack. You're using your hand as like a duck's bill. If she opens her mouth and quacking, you can do the same thing with the feed call. And all that does, it, it'll add some depth and a little bit of deeper, more mellow tone to the call. If you don't use your hand, this is what it will sound like. Okay? If you use your hand, you can add some tone to it. It'll sound like this. See what I'm saying? So use your hand to fine tune your tones and continue to work on this call. Like I said, it's not that effective as far as actually making a bird commit. In my opinion, the best thing that a feed call or feed chuckle is for is when you're, you're in the blind and you're duck hunting, of course, during duck season, it's really cold, icy conditions. Your reeds will tend to stick together or stick to the tone board. And that's a great way to sh give a little short, quick, high pressured burst of air to free those reeds up before you get into your quacking and calling cadence. I do it a lot, especially on a cold day. If it's, if it's a mild day and I'm not really worried about my reeds sticking, then I won't do it. But if it's cold outside, frosty, icy, things like that, then the more you blow your call, the more moisture you put on this call, then your reeds 
have are more likely to stick together or stick to your tone board. So when I pick up my call on a good cold icy day, the first thing I'm going to do is go. <laughs> I'm going to give it just a short little quick chuckle, and it's not really trying to get the bird's attention by doing that chuckle. It's just basically just to free those reeds up. Just pick it up. Okay. In my opinion, that's the best thing it's for. But it is effective if you hear some birds working and you hear a hen, she chatters at you, you can chatter back at her. But the main thing to do is master the quack. And if you want to use the feed call, it's probably best to just use it to free up your reeds because it's, it's not going to make a bird commit by making them think, oh, there's lots of food down there. That's where we need to be because that's just not the case. But I hope this helps you out if you want to learn how to do the feed call or the feed chuckle. And that's all I've got for you this week, guys. So until next time, y'all bust them up.